Hello friends, this case is a pure fraud case I would like to share with you. I'm uh, 67 years old um, uh, with extensive uh, peripheral artery disease who underwent um, uh, FIMPOP bypass for the left side recently and uh, was referred to me for heart cath for MI post DM surgery. Um, he never had a heart cath before and uh, he had no access whatsoever. Um, all the other access are occluded. And the only access I found is the left brachial. And patient was already on uh, pressors. And you see here, this is the first um, uh, um, angiogram I received. Here is the um, uh, JR. And the JR did not pass it through. So I have to do pull the JR and do angiogram. And you see the um, uh, lesion here ulcerated plaque in the axillary and um, uh, artery and also extended toward the um, uh, subocclusion i'll show it to you in the next um, uh, view so here i have to use the um, uh, woolly wire to advance toward the um, uh, heart and do the angiogram which revealed multivessel disease i'm not gonna um, uh, review that we'll just go to the um, peripheral findings so at the end I have to direct it toward the abdominal aorta and here is the angiogram using the GR and you can tell um, why we couldn't feel the um, uh, left leg because it's completely um, occluded the right leg where he has the bypass I think at the um, anastomosis there is um, a lesion there and I don't want to mess with that axis so I did not access the left side it's just the drain already there so um, I have to use the um, uh, left brachial. Here I have to pull the um, uh, catheter over the wire and do an um, angiogram of the left subclavian. Um, uh, here's the subclavian is okay here, but it's disease there. So I have to pull the catheter and check the gradient. And there are significant gradients, 60, 70 millimeter mercury gradient between this um, segment and the left subclavian and that's explain why the patient is on pressors and uh, they could not feel the um, uh, pulse in the left arm so here we're going to start intervention um, uh, i'm going to pass the um, run through wire before pulling the um, uh, gor um, uh, just to sh use the shock wave and then pull the um, uh, guide up to here to see where is the um, uh, proximal segment then start with um, shock wave this is shock wave 3580 for the auxiliary and then i followed by 50 uh, ranger drug coated balloon drug coated balloon and then check the gradient the gradient is better but we still have also another lesion in the um, uh, subclavian here so I have to do the same way, um, uh, shockwave and ranger balloon. And here is the angiogram after. So we have nice um, uh, flow. We have uh, uh, none limited here um, uh, flow uh, uh, dissected plaque there. And uh, but otherwise the gradient is uh, back to less than ten, and the um, uh, we can feel the pulse in the um, left arm you see the flow here toward the um, uh, radial here we can get um, uh, arterial line access all right I just would like to share with you this case and uh, like you enjoy please comment if you have any um, uh, different approach for such case have a good night